In this video, we're dealing with two examples of simplifying expressions. So the first example is right here. It says the sum of, and I'll rewrite it, 4x squared plus x minus 8 and x squared plus 9 can be expressed as, well, we were, they're asking us here that in the keywords end, Right, to add these two expressions. And then they're saying, well, what will you get if you add them? Well, since we're adding, we can just add in, in pairs or add any way we want to, really. Um, I'm going to add like terms first. So first I'll pair 4x squared plus x squared. Right, That's our first group. And then we have, well, x is all by itself. Right, There's no like term here, just the number 9. And then be careful here on the last step, we're adding... 9 and negative 8, right? So don't forget that's a negative there. Negative 8 plus 9. So now we can simplify. Well, first of all, we have 4x squared and x squared. This means, of course, you have 4x squareds, right? That's what 4x squared means. And then we're adding another x squared. That's 5x squared, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we add x to that, but we can't really simplify that. These are not like terms, and you could tell they're not like terms by looking at the exponent. You can't add two variables if the exponents are different, which is something we go over in detail in other videos. But here I'll just mention that to kind of stir your memory. Next we have negative 8 and 9, which is 1, and there we go. We simplified it, right? None of these terms can be combined anymore. We get 5x squared plus x plus 1. Now in the next one it says, what binomial, right, and that just means a two-termed polynomial. So here this is three terms, one, two, three, separated by addition, and you can't simplify it anymore. That's called a trinomial. Here they're asking, what binomial is equivalent to, and they give you two, two terms, three times x minus one minus two times x minus three. They want, they're saying basically, okay, simplify these two, what do you get? Well, I think the tricky part here is using the distributive property correctly. Here I take 3 and multiply it by x and negative 1. What does that get me? Well, 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 1, or, or you can think of it as minus 3 times 1, same thing, we get minus 3. Now what happens? Well, I'm going to rewrite this. Instead of subtracting 2, I'm going to say adding a negative 2. It's just easier for me to keep track of my signs here. Because now I think, oh, I'm adding what? Well, negative 2 times x, and then negative 2 times negative 3. What's negative 2 times x? Well, that's just negative 2x, right? What is negative 2 times negative 3? Well, negative times a negative is a positive. So it's positive 6, right? 2 times 3 is 6. And now I can simplify. Again, with group-like terms. We have negative 2x and 3x. That's 5x. Then we have negative 3 and 6. Well, that's just 3. And there we have our binomial. See, it has two terms, 5x and 3. And it cannot be simplified any further. All right, hope this helped.